Good morning, folks. Hope you all having a had a great week. This is Friday now. Um, I'm gonna have a barbecue this evening, and uh, I'm gonna pick a few spuds. September the first. Uh, moving up to our week now. I got me most of the wood stacked away. I got some underneath the tarp there. It was raining for the last two days. Yeah. All there to go now. It's supposed to be sunny for the next little ball. So, so we're gonna have a plan on having a barbecue this evening now. And uh, so I'm spreading this little tarp I got her. And uh, throw the throw this fish pan of uh, spuds. Now the stocks are gone often, but. As you can see, I see one there. So, you can see another one down there. Don't rub them too much. Let's do the dump. Tip it over right there, and then we'll. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Soggy one. Oh, yeah. Red potatoes. Another one. Another one. Soggy one. Soggy saw. Yeah. Another one. Oh yeah. The red ones are good. Huh? The red ones are good. Yeah, that's uh Ooh, nice one. Seen Calvin's corner there now. He done some in a in a big tub. A barrel. His didn't work out that great and oh. the nice one. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's good. One. One there, that's the size I'm looking for for the barbecue. Oh, yeah, another one. Soggy, I think. Yeah, he's soggy. Yeah, soggy. I think what it is is the pan, it's not letting go enough water. Uh, it's only four little holes in it. A couple holes there. And I should have uh, made more holes into it. Well, father always said in the tub it's not that great. Better off use sand. I use a lot of hurt here. And uh, I think that's a good hit. For this tub. Yep. Yeah. I might save this stuff and, and mix it with the uh, with the ground next year. Now, I have a few there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten. Fifteen. Fifteen red what? Eight out of ten, that was too moist to take. So, that's a good one. Yeah, well, we'll get it now. He's gone. We're going to hurt for next year, and that's it. So that'll do us for a barbecue this evening. Take them in the house now and clean them up. And I'll know for next year now not to put them in pans. I got uh, three more pans there, and I tried a few buckets. Want to try a bucket? Yes. Let's try a bucket. Let's take this one. Cabbage is growing pretty good, considering. Now I've done the same thing with this. I never had much sand, but <coughs> Ooh. she's one there, and there. This is a hard one. Got a moist. Four. <laughs> it's 
six. <laughs> I ain't getting this on camera, I don't think. Seven. Not a <laughs> uh, baby one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Dell. It's a nice bit of sand in this to grow pretty good. That was only two carrot two uh, spuds I planted for this. Okay. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna let down go. He's a bit real soggy. That was good. That's good. Yeah, so that's it. That's uh and uh, not too bad. I'm gonna save the rest for two weeks time now and then we're gonna harvest them. Just gonna show you this now. These are growing pretty good. Now these were really high and they're dropping. You know, they were up like that, so that too old guy. Now when he starts to uh, drip like that, almost time to harvest. So anyway guys, hope you liked the video and uh, I'll uh, get cooking there at once. Take care. Back again there, folks. Yeah, I uh, got the spuds all washed up. Had a white one there, and the rest is all yellow spuds. So, uh, nice, clean, clear spuds. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do now is try to get the hollow ball open. I got it. Okay. And give it a little sprinkle there. Pull it over. Yeah. Should be alright. There it wants. Now what I'm doing there now, I'm just coating this over and I uh, oh yeah, that's good. Give it a little bit of roasted garlic and peppers. Give it a good Dose of that. It all mixed in together a bit more. Yeah, it's the best way I love spuds. Potatoes. And a little bit of Parmesan cheese. A little bit of that there. Don't need much of that, but just a little bit. And give it a little stir. Now we gotta go for to the store and this and that. So what I'm gonna do now, and this is gonna marinate for uh, probably two hours there now. Then we're gonna come back and probably get back now to just be ready to cook. So I'm gonna put the lid on this. And let that marinate, you call, or let the garlic get through the spot a bit. And put in the oven 350 for 40 minutes and see how it turns out. Anyway, guys, I'll get back to you when we get set to plate. Take care. Hello, folks, I'm back again. Supper's pretty well done. And the steak, the white flakes pork chops there. Uh, a few devil's eggs, a little salad, mushroom and onions. Winger and let's try these red spots. I said they were white spots, but they're the red. Hey anyway, guys, gonna try a taste. Oh my! Awesome. Tastes is very good. <clears throat> yeah, so these are ones I grow in the garden. First time I ever growed spuds. Turned out pretty good. And I'm uh, signing off there now. I'm going to eat my supper and that. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. So guys, have a nice weekend. And uh, have all the best to you. Take care.